you tell two very different stories. I will not put myself up there as a number one mother. I, I have let them down, but I believe that we need to move past this. We need to not repeat this cycle. The only way the cycle is going to be repeated is if we let you speak to our children, which isn't going to happen. Perception is reality. They perceive you as choosing some man over them, dropping them at a motel, and taking off. Did that happen or did it not happen? I don't recall that ever happening. Maybe it's, well, wait, maybe wait, it's wait, blocked wait, 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 out. Wait a minute. You don't, that's not something you got. Like, let's see. Um, dropping, did I dropping wear a blue a shirt or a red shirt? So you, dropping you, a man. You left us and had Grandpa pick us up. They, they knew I was moving. I had been through a court well, battle. The fact that they knew it doesn't change the, whether you did it or not. What they're saying is the day came when you said, I have a choice to stay here near my sons or take up with some other guy and move all the way across the country. I think I'll leave them here and move all the way across the country. That's rejection. That's saying she's putting us here and somebody else up here, so she's loading her stuff up and hauling ass. They made the choice to live with their father. They made the choice in the court yeah, how does a with the man beside you, Alex. How does a two-year-old make a choice? You, you, you weren't two. You, know you were court. three. I would never leave you my son. You know the court doesn't take any there was children a, into account until they're 13 or 14 There was a mediation. Was there was a mediation. And I was told that their choice was to live with their father. I don't understand your logic. You're saying, let, let's assume for argument's sake that... All of a sudden, the laws changed, and they were allowed to make the choice. I, I don't believe that. I don't okay. believe a two-year-old. I don't believe that, yeah, no. that they could do that. But if they did say they wanted to reside with their father, how does that justify you choosing to move 3,000 miles? You can't get any further away than Maine unless you went to Nova Scotia. You, you went as far right. away as you possibly can. Because they chose to live with their father, I'm not saying they did, but for argument's sake, say they did. How does that justify you deciding you're going to, as their mother, go as far away as you can possibly get? I chose to relocate to the state of Maine, which these sons of mine don't even know. But their father would come up in the middle of the night, all hours of the night, knock on my bedroom window, go around and peek in the window, follow me places that, and anywhere I would go, he would be behind me or I would see him in a distance because I was in the relationship with the second husband. The one tried to shoot you. That's correct. His There's actions shouldn't determine whether you go across the country. It doesn't matter. This what? is what they're trying to understand, and I, I, I have to tell you, it's a legitimate question. Absolutely. I, I've been married 41 years, and we have two boys, and if for some reason those boys couldn't have been with my wife when they were growing up, she wouldn't have left the block, let alone moved to Maine. I, I don't understand, as a mother, how you would reason that your best choice is to move as far away from them as you can possibly move. The only thing I can say, Dr. Phil, is it was the worst decision I've ever made in my entire life. Then why are you defending it? Because I, I want to move on. You, you can't move on without acknowledging it in the first time. Like any time anytime there was ever any apology, there was always a but. A but. What they're saying like is there are excuses. you got to own it sometimes. There are always excuses.